My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. If you guys are new here, welcome. If this is not your first time and you've already subscribed, welcome back. This is going to be overall energies that are coming at you for the rest of August, okay? This is basically overall August energies, okay? So we're on the 14th of August today. Um, I recently moved. I've been very busy. So you guys, I apologize and I thank you for your patience. Um, but Pisces, wow. I'm like... I'm feeling a lot of energy around you guys, a lot of changes, um, transformations, uh, metamorphosis. Sorry guys, because I just moved, I haven't got my normal tarot table moved over here yet. So I'm using this other table and it wibbles and wobbles a little bit. So um, I'm working on that. But anyways, so we'll, we'll just get right into it, you guys. So of course, if this is your first time here, you guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, we have fun around here at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot, okay? We don't just, I mean, yes, I pull cards, I channel out um, psychic intuitive messages, things of that nature, but um, whoa, 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 see the cards just wanna talk. I could feel that. You guys have a lot of energy. Yeah, look, partnerships and alliances. A lot of you guys are having problems with partnerships. You're making new partnerships. You're making new alliances with people. You're meeting more of your soul tribe. You are, yeah, definitely meeting more of your soul tribe. You got two threes. Some of you are seeing three, three a lot. Breaks down to a six. You're, you're in this place of movement, Pisces. You're in a place of movement, recognition and reward. The universe is coming through and they're saying, we see you. We see you. Some kind of uh, rewards coming in, recognition for your good karma, that kind of stuff. Um, anyways, you guys, what I was saying before is subscribe, all that stuff. Um, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Parts of it may not. Just take what does and just leave the rest because it's for another Pisces out there in the world who's going to watch this at some time, okay? All right, so for Pisces, August 2021, for the rest of August, what is coming in for the collective of Pisces? Please and thank you. For the highest good of Pisces. Here we go. For Pi there we go. Awareness. Hmm. A lot of crown chakra activations going on with you guys. Pisces, you're highly, your deep sign, highly intuitive, things of that nature. Crown chakra. Aligning more with your higher self, but this is also like magician energy in the tarot. With this recognition and reward, partnerships and alliances, a lot of you are starting businesses, you're partnering up with people in things, collaborating, I don't know. There's things of that nature and it doesn't have to be that. It could just be you leveling up. The glow up is real, so they say, right? This is you manifesting things here and this recognition and look, you have the universe. Yep, I told you the universe is here. I said that they came into this reading and I just said, there they are. Closing out big life cycles and then starting new ones. This is new beginnings, new partnerships and alliances. This could be love as well, okay? New partnerships and love this awareness. You're highly aware. You're highly aware of your, your energy, the people around you, situations going on. You're like, you're highly aware of anything that you do right now. You're manifesting in your highest good. A lot of you are aligning with your destiny. Okay. Your soul's purpose. I feel for a lot of you Pisces, you're feeling in a really good spot right now. Yep, a lot of new cycles coming in here. And then conflict and defeat. This is uh, the cycles that are ending here. You're manifesting all these new beginnings, planting seeds, manifesting, mani manifesting, manifesting. You know, it's that kind of stuff. And then boom. Actually, today I saw a thing on Instagram. You guys can follow me on Instagram. It's Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I always post stuff about astrological stuff things in tarot, different things, things that I channel out, songs, things, things of that nature. Because a lot of it I correlate with my readings. Most of it actually. Um, 
but I just posted a thing where today, August 14th through August 31st, the universe, I don't know what the planetary placements are, I have no idea, but the universe is clearing out the last 31 years of karma, okay? They were like, you've learned enough, you've, you've been through enough, it's time to clear it all out. So those of you who are, you know, around my age, mid 30s, that's, that's pretty cool that's like everything to like when I was young to when you were young or 20 years back you know or whatever you know whatever it is 31 years back but even if you might have been 20 years old when that this is happening so it's all that the universe is see this it's like a whirlwind like, it's just like a whirlwind like wiping everything out a vortex a portal overcoming conflict and defeat you might have a lot of conflict around you you might be feeling defeated right now Okay, so it's like, we've got you, you know, the universe has your back here. So just kind of keep your eye on the prize right now, Pisces, which I think that most of you guys are here or you have been, okay? What else for Pisces? Tell me about what else for Pisces? What else is coming in for the rest, in the rest of August for Pisces? This one wanted to pop and it, my intuition is saying yes. Financial and material changes. Yeah, see, I felt that always listen to my intuition. So a lot of you are having changes in the home and marriage, things of that nature. This could have to deal with love. We'll see in a moment, but this feels very like monetary or job career, things like that, of that nature. Yeah. A lot of you guys are having very successful collaborations or you're getting recognized recognition and reward through your job, okay? But there's something here. Financial gains, earnings. I'm hearing all of this right now. So this is big, okay? But there's some kind of change occurring. For a lot of you, you have felt like defeated financially for a while, I guess. That's what I'm hearing, okay? And this is like the change that you've been waiting for. Um, what else? There we go. <laughs> Crown chakra. See, guys, everything I say is for a reason. I said that this awareness card, it just, the, the crown chakra, it was like drawing me in, drawing me in. So definitely aligning with your higher self, um, calling to spirit. Um, listening to your intuition, your inner thoughts, that kind of stuff, okay? A lot of crown chakra activations going on. Alignment with the higher chakra, high, you know? I'm hearing bright ideas. You guys are birthing a lot of bright ideas right now. You're like in this like place of creativity and like just ideas popping into your mind of what you can, what you want to do, where you want to go. Um, but anyways, tell me more about this. So definitely a lot of crown chakra stuff. That's why I felt that earlier. Okay. So they just wanted to confirm that. All right. For Pisces, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let's see. Authority. This is inner authority. This is giving yourself the inner authority to do what you want to do, to do things that make you happy. You know, letting yourself feel like, dang, like I made it. I, I, I went through all this conflict, defeat, like I am strong, I'm courageous, I'm all these things, right? It's like letting, allowing yourself to breathe a little bit. That's how it feels to me anyways. All right, Pisces. What is coming in for Pisces? This is Romance Angels, you guys. What is coming in for Pisces for the rest of August? Please and thank you, Spirit, for Pisces. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Usa. These people are in wedding gear, wedding gear. So it could be someone that you're in a relationship with that you know you're just like wanting to disconnect from the world with, um, need time alone with. Oh, express your love. That flipped over too. I didn't see that. But this is also this is someone that wants to spend some time with you. They want to spend alone time with you, and they want to express something to you in the department of love. This definitely has to do with this partnership and alliances. This partnership crown chakra your person is following their intuition they're aligning with a higher power their higher self okay go ahead and make the romantic gesture 
That's what your person is gonna do in the month of August, Pisces. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. New love. For a lot of you, this is a new take on an old love or, you know, whatever, a, a, someone that you're already connected to energetically um, that you've been in like a separation of some form with. And this is like them expressing something to you probably because they didn't just express it before, yada, yada, yada. It was probably part of the problem, right? Um, so it's a new level with this universe card here. It's a new cycle on this connection, okay? That's why it's a new love because it is. It's a fresh, clean slate. This person wants to spend alone time with you, retreat, be alone, and express some things to you. healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay this feels like inner child stuff for many of you you're working on things with your inner child um healing things from the past healing things from your childhood childhood traumas uh things that were just of negative energies that were around you in your environment okay some of you had very toxic relationships with your parents or whatever it is right but this is about healing the past this has to do with some of that karma that clean slate that i was just talking about that i posted in my story about the cosmic clean cleaning okay the last 31 years this has a lot to do with that stuff it's gonna help purge that out okay so Wow. <laughs> Finances and career. See, I knew it. I felt this whole like shift, energetic shift with stuff that had to do with work or, or finances, that kind of stuff. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so sometimes, okay, so sometimes some of you are having money issues with your significant other. Okay, that's like a big factor. Or for some of you, your person is intimidated uh, by, yeah, look, by your uh, success level, okay? Um, something along the lines of that, like they feel like they can't measure up or there's something with that, okay? Because then you got the true love thing. So it's like they know what this is. They know that this is true love. But for some of you, they just feel intimidated by your energy or by your success or something along the lines of that. But you guys, this is true love, the romance of a lifetime says this is the romance of a lifetime, Pisces. There's gonna be some kind of new shift, new cycle happening here, and someone's going to express their love to you. Your person could be very well off, financially stable, and that could be why they were holding back in the past because they just are used to people using them for money. Sorry if you guys could hear the dog you were house sitting. Um, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, for me, I feel like this is your angels right now just holding you very closely. And they're just coming through very strongly. See, it's like they're holding you, but also this is passion with this person, with with someone that you're connected to and love. But this is allow your, whole, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's like, see how he's holding her and she just is so relaxed. And it's just like, remember earlier I said the universe has your back, spirit has your back, whatever it was that I said. That's what I meant by this, like this per, like, like spirit, like your angels, they're holding you, they're guiding you. It's like, we've got you. It's just like, kind of like breathe out, you know? So, um, and I feel like you guys are trusting in that more and more and more and more. That's why we have this here. Even though technically this is like magician energy, which yeah, you guys are in manifesting mode. You guys are manifesting a, someone into your life, back into your life, some kind of movement here, some kind of change some kind of healing, some kind of shift. Sorry guys, I know it's annoying because it wibble wobbles. There's passion here. All right guys, let me get some more Oracle for you. Where are we at? 14 minutes for Pisces, for Pisces. What is overall coming in for Pisces in love, please? Thank you. You guys got the crow, oh my God, 22. 
memories, remembering. Someone is looking back on this whole thing, feeling very nostalgic, okay? But again, with this whole inner child thing, I feel like for a lot of you Pisces, you're thinking back on childhood stuff. And a lot of it, a lot of, not even childhood, it could just be stuff that happened in school or when you were in your early 20s or 20s or something that could have happened a month ago. But there's things coming up that like you haven't thought about for a long time or whatever that were, that affected you negatively in some way, hurt your feelings, broke your heart, let you down, disappointed you, you just felt left out, deceived. There's all these different emotions, right? So there's stuff that's coming up and that's stuff that you're remembering and thinking back on and that's part of this alignment with your higher self and this like purging of the past, okay? Magical power, mystery. Some of you have, you work with magic, okay? Some of you work with the elements, things of that nature. You work with spirit animals. You're seeing crows a lot. A new event or happening, yeah. There's gonna be some new events and happening here. Financial, financial events, happenings, um, magical, miracle things happening. Um, there's really wonderful energy around you guys, Pisces, seriously. Um, you guys, if this is vibing with you, if you're connecting with this message, like subscribe to the channel if you're interested in honing in on like you what's happening in your life your love life um your spiritual life anything like that um you can email me i'm still taking personal readings at this time so just email me and we can get you set up the pricing it's all below down in the description box okay you guys clever problem solver i feel like you are really using your wisdom Pisces, you are using your life's experiences, wisdom, your inner wisdom, your intuition. You're, you're aligning a lot with that right now. And you're being very observant also. But also there's someone that has, it, they've been observing you. Okay. An omen. It's a good omen here. For Pisces, please. For Pisces, what else with their person? What is coming in for Pisces? Please and thank you. It says Gaia Mother. I did say that some of you are working with the elements. So I feel like a lot of you are into like earth magic, things of that nature, or you're just connecting more to Mother Gaia. We have the bouquet, happy, harmony, beauty, creativity. You're tapping more into your creative side. A lot of you are. I believe I mentioned that art, beauty, a gift, openness, expressive. You're very open. You're surrendering to the, to the fruits of life. To, you're surrendering to the divine, to God, to source, to whatever, okay? But you're just like, kind of like, Jesus take the wheel, that kind of energy, right? <clears throat> warmth and gratitude, you're trying to have more warmth toward yourself, but there's someone here that is very grateful to have you in their life, and they have a lot of warmth and affection towards you, okay? It says reconciliation. I just heard on the front lines. So it's coming in quick, okay? You have the Milky Way, networking. See, there's something here with this partnerships and alliances. I said you could be collaborating, that kind of thing. This is that kind of stuff, networking. Someone could be watching you through social media. Maybe they reached out to you through social media. Maybe you met them on some kind of like website. I don't know. But it says expansion, connected. Connected to what? Connected to source. Connected to all of that. Exposure time for Pisces to be seen. Pisces isn't going to hide anymore, right? Connected, expand, a lot of expansion around you. See the Milky Way. Mother Gaia, inner identity, experiencing duality. A lot of you guys are experiencing this duality, inner versus outer body, soul versus, you know, this human life. It's very difficult, right? Polar opposites. Okay, you and your person, you might feel like polar opposites. This might be something that you're going through, some kind of thing that this is this reconciliation, harmony, wanting harmony, I don't know. Could be because you also have the church, which is like, it could be marriage, beliefs, all this stuff. Could be, um, you know, coming from different backgrounds, having different beliefs. The archer. Careful, on target, shoot direct, quick, precise, matchmaker, implement a strategy. I feel like someone wants to implement a strategy here with you and they're coming in very quick. This is also your manifesting Pisces. You guys are like on fire with your manifesting. A lot of you have, I said, uh, surrendered and you are 
just you're like in the flow of life okay that came out and i think it was cancer's reading anchor someone wants to come in they're coming in quick too to stabilize this connection in ways they want to anchor this down but this is someone with a lot of willpower someone who has the will to win persevere someone who persists someone who is fortitude and solid this is you pisces all right let's get some tarot you guys we're at 19 minutes for Pisces, what's coming in overall next in love for Pisces? Ooh, that was the Ace of Wands that wanted to come out. Passionate new beginning for Pisces. Ah, the Queen of Swords. Is this you right now, Pisces? Cutting away all the BS, all the excess in your life? This is communication and truth. Someone who is very direct. Someone who is, yeah, very precise and direct. See? Also someone who's very wise, someone who is very fair, very just, but someone who's very quick to draw her sword if she needs to. Truth and communication. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces in August. <laughs> the Knight of Cups, a wish fulfillment. This wish fulfillment is something that you've been hoping for, Pisces. That's what it feels like. You're getting a wish fulfillment, some communication and truth. Look at this. Wasn't I talking about being just, that kind of stuff? There you are, Pisces, liberating yourself in life. This is good karma. This is the scales of the karmic scales of the universe. The universe is balancing for you. They're handing you a wish fulfillment, some kind of truth communication that's going to be a wish fulfillment that's going to make you extremely happy. Death card here. You have the King of Pentacles. There's your person, possibly could be some kind of an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's just the energy of it. It's someone who's very stable, very grounded, someone you could trust, someone you could rely on, someone who is very, you know, can be stubborn, but they're really good with finances. They could be very, very, they could be a boss, a CEO, someone very wealthy, you know, someone is a humanitarian, but they're not someone who, who opens up very easily or gives away their pentacle very easily. Okay, so this is a wish fulfillment here. This truth and communication is, it's, 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 it's a solid offer here with this King of Pentacles. It's a rebirth, a complete metamorphosis, a transformation of this connection. That's also a part of this good karma here. The scale's balancing. They're saying one more. One more for Pisces from the tarot, one more. By the swords self-sabotage someone who just keeps shooting their self in the foot when it comes to you pisces they finally learned a lesson false victory it's like you got what you got your way but are you really happy do you really like the way things are or happened or went down or ended up and the answer is no they don't so there was a transformation. There's a rebirth taking place here. Your person could have gone through some kind of, you know, transformation, deep night of the, dark night of the soul. I don't know, but there's some kind of rebirth here with this. There's a transformation of this. And this person is manifesting this 10 of cups happily ever after. Happily ever after. All right, Pisces. Get some of my magic. If you guys are new here, this is my magic deck. Sorry, guys. Um, it has all kinds of goodies in it. I have to have you. Whoa, Pisces. Yeah. King of Pentacles and like the Justice card and like the Death card, Queen of Swords. Like these are, and like the unit. I mean, you guys got some big hitter cards here. This person is not playing. The King of Pentacles does not show his face in readings unless he is certain that he is ready to invest in something because he wants, he will only invest when he knows he's going to get a return on that investment in love, 
finance, career, job, whatever it is, right? Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Either that or it's this King of Pentacles energy that I was just speaking of. A lot of Earth's energy here. This one flew on the ground. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Aquarius. Okay. So Capricorn and Aquarius. So maybe you met this person around the time of Capricorn Aquarius, which is December, January time. Maybe that is a significant era or like time for this connection for you personally. I don't know, but it's coming through very strongly. This is also the devil energy to me and the star card energy to me. So someone is obsessing over this to me, it feels, um, because they messed up or they did something to you, Pisces, and they are coming in with a transformation and truth and and, a, and a, some kind of a solid uh, offer of long-term, yeah, like pot of gold. This is also finance, career, all that, because you guys are manifesting some big stuff in your life. And I felt this, these shifts, right, for you. Um, pot of gold, it's at the end of the rainbow, right? You finally have reached the end of the rainbow. You're so close, you can taste it, right? You're here, you're there, okay? Just, it's here, it's coming. Like, just be a little patient. See, I'm hitting the, the nail on the head because my nose is itching like crazy. And when I'm super, super, super tapped in, that's what happens. And I get, and I get stuffy. A breakup, yeah, see, there is an ending. Or maybe there will just be a breakup. I don't know. One just flew underneath my bed. I can't, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry, but it flew way underneath the bed. That was like crazy how it flew. I know I let you down. Yeah, see, your person let you down. They did something. And then the bottom of the deck, you're perfect for me. They know it. They know it. What's up with these people, Pisces? Hold on, you guys. I just, I can't end a reading like that. I just, some, some readers will be like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh my God, but what, what if it's something like, okay, and guess what? It's, I'm sorry I betrayed you. Yeah, see, your person betrayed you in some way, shape, or form for some of you. Wow. Okay. Let's just get a moonology for you, Pisces 2656. For Pisces, overall energy coming in August. Overall energy for Pisces. A full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. There you go. Full moons are the end of a cycle, okay? So there's some kind of cycle ending here that's a personal issue, something you'll know what it is for you, okay? Everyone's situation is going to be different. So you'll know, okay? Some type of personal issue that you've been dealing with, wanting, hoping for, manifest. I don't know what it is, but it's something like that is, is going to be reaching a resolution here, okay? So, um... You guys, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it connected with you. I am sending you guys so much love and light. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Thank you for all your likes. Thank you for subscribing. Um, hit the notification bell because I'm going to start going live. Um, so so you guys will be notified for that and for everything. And again, if you're want, wanting a personal reading down below. And that's it, you guys. So until next time, Pisces, love and light. Bye.